This is one of the plants that is abandoned in the clinic and since it's a circuit breaker time, lockdown, um, it's been left behind for 12 weeks without watering, without enough sunlight, but still this plant is like surviving and thriving. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel with me Harris. Yeah, so today we will be discussing how to revive this easy plant. A little bit background about this easy plant is uh, I kept it in the clinic. Uh, it's a social clinic, so when the COVID-19 hits, uh, we need to close the clinic. It's for around three months and more, around 14 weeks, if I can say. So the condition after 14 weeks. Yesterday, I I went to the clinic and I checked. Um, basically, it's all. Many of the leaves are drying. I have removed some, but the thing with this ZZ plant, well, people in the internet says that this plant is unkillable, like meaning you cannot kill this plant. Uh, yeah, true indeed that this plant have a surviving skills that is very good, and some of the because nobody really water this plant at all, and in the clinic it's. Uh, I can say minimum light can see that it's turning to be pale not very much as a very green and some leaves are definitely yellowing some even are rotten but the interesting part is the rotten leaves right fell into the soil and it's kind of like give additional water for this plant to survive so yeah definitely if you're looking for a one plant that is very easy care like even when you neglect it or you travel somewhere very far away and then you forget to water it i would definitely recommend this one zz plant oh see one of the leaves are off like this but let's join me to yeah kind of like repotting this uh, ZZ plant and kind of like change all the soil because um, it's rotten and very bad. Come! That we are ready to get our hands dirty, we prepare some equipments, of course, to uh, change all the plants and take a condition, take a look at the condition of the root. Here we go. Get ready. Get your hands dirty. Man, sadly we need to remove this leaf. Ooh. Well, yeah. Oh. Oh. Careful not to damage uh, or bring more damage to the plant. Yeah. So here we go is our the rooting system and you can see this this part is the bulb of the plant of the zz plant this one will definitely survive yeah so looking good on that one hop and yeah simply remove all the soil with this Wow, some of the, we can really see some of the soil are really rotting, yeah? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, but wow. This what, this is what I think makes ZZ plant um, survive, even in a situation whereby it's not being watered because it stores water here in the bulb, we call it. Yeah. So you can see that this is really good. This is a rooting system. Some of the plant that dried are already cut off. Yeah. Wow. Simply nice. Just remove it here first. Hmm. Well. Yeah. And Ooh, careful, careful. Yeah. See? Simply remove the part that is rotting. 
even in the situation whereby it's not getting any water for 14 weeks uh, you can see the beginning of the leaves coming out or sprouting out it's amazing yeah all good so far so good oh yeah yeah uh, this is the rooting uh the root rot and to throw it it's almost like cleaning a wound or um wow and see this is how the plant can survive with a huge bulb like this wow it can really uh, survive without watering because this is full of water yep good part some are definitely rotten uh, and smells pretty bad also they rotten uh, I think best to oh some pest also some snails as you can see there goes the snails all right it's almost like cleaning a wound well same system to keep the rotting part um, away and then to keep the live and well part um, to be saved yep definitely rotting Woo. smells pretty bad uh, there we go there we go there we go well ZZ plant in Indonesia they call it um, pohon dollar even though it's actually dollar tree is actually the terms for a different ones though not this one but we call it dollar tree because it's shaped like uh, uh, plucked shaped like a dollar yeah, can definitely remove this part. Yep. And this part that is not healthy. Can definitely cut also. Up. Ready to cut. Remove. Completely. Yeah, so this is the healthy part. This is the dead part also that we need we want to remove. Dying leaves. Remove. So I remove it directly from the root. Up. And yay! One half the root that we can divide for others. Very good, very good. We'll be using this honeycomb pot again. The white honeycomb pot. It's a plastic pot uh, with uh, quite a good draining. Uh, the weakness with this pot right um, it's only have four holes so you really need to uh, maintain the water if you increase a lot of soil inside then definitely it will be uh, it will retain the water so we're ready to remove the uh, yeah this soil is actually cocoa peat and stuff but it's already rotten so might want to change it with a new one here it goes a new one Using a small pot. And put the ZZ back together. Hop. Put the ZZ back together. Like this. That. like that mm. yep like that oh big bulb big bulb be careful not to rope the stem yep 
Ah, uh, yep. Put it all together. Almost done here. Yep. And there we go. We are done. Just add more soil. Thank you for us. The rain is coming. And it's falling down right now. So I guess this easy plant will definitely survive and regain the strength again. Okay, friends. Thank you for joining me today. See you on the next videos. Please do subscribe, like, and comment. If you have some questions, definitely leave the questions. Um, if I can, I can answer that. If, we're, if I cannot answer, then definitely we'll find an answer. Yeah, I'll see you. Thank you for joining me today.